Today we're going to be talking about the new Nav Pro Plus module. This module was designed specifically to add navigation that does not require a smartphone to utilize for vehicles that are populated with CarPlay from the manufacturer, meaning your vehicle would have CarPlay built in when you purchased it or when you received it. This module utilizes the CarPlay controller to operate the module, but what it does we thought was pretty intuitive in that the manufacturer built in a full US map navigation system in it uh, that uses the CarPlay controller. The nice thing about that is you don't have to have your smartphone in the vehicle in order to take advantage of it. So what I'm going to do is do a review on this today. The module also serves some other purposes for those of you that are wanting uh, a CarPlay experience that is more than what you've come to expect with CarPlay. Although CarPlay is obviously a safe feature and in itself very intuitive, um, there are a fair amount of limitations to it. Certain apps that you cannot access while you're in your vehicle or while you're in motion where this module gives you access to those apps through the Google Play Store. Um, and if you have a Gmail account, um, you have access to the Google Play Store, just so anyone knows, especially for you Apple clients. Now, if you don't have a Gmail account or you don't have a Google Play Store, you can establish one in a matter of seconds for absolutely no cost whatsoever. And what that does in the Google Play Store is it's very similar to the Apple App Store, is you have full accessibility to all of your apps, uh, Hulu, uh, TikTok, Netflix, essentially everything. And we're going to review that uh, in the second part of this video. But for now, we're going to go over uh, the Nav Pro uh, Plus function here. And I'm going to show you the kit contents. Now, this is the module itself here. Fairly small in size, as you can see, compared to my hand. But it's going to go in a discrete area anyways. It's going to plug into the USB portion that your smartphone would normally plug into. Now, obviously, with most vehicles today, they have multiple uh, USB ports. So this will only uh, take up one port. Um, you'll still have additional ports uh, to utilize. Now there are two USB connections on here. There is a USB-C connection, which is the output that is going to connect to the USB input of my vehicle. And then there's a standard uh, USB 2.0 input. Now that input, of course, is if you want to add outside accessories, or maybe you want to connect your smartphone to it and send your smartphone through it for charging and you know various features, which this module also has, that we'll go over in a bit. I'm going to show you some of the other accessories. Put that down for a second. Um, some of the other accessories that the module comes with, of course, a USB cable. Very robust. I actually was very impressed with this cable when I looked at it. It is nylon braided. Um, seems very strong. And obviously, for those of you that have utilized your smartphone cables for various functions, uh, that can be uh, somewhat of uh, a nuisance because these cables aren't really showing to be that strong. Um, so I'm glad that the manufacturer stepped up and built this um, fairly robust. Um, they also provide a GPS antenna and a GPS uh, power module. Now, this provides power for the GPS antenna, which is, of course, right here. Um, if this is a traditional GPS antenna. There's nothing you know special about it just to serve a function of location. But this module here I thought was really neat also. Um, there are two holes on the bottom here. Uh, they are LEDs. One is blue and one is green. The blue LED means that this module, once it receives power, which is a relatively simple connection, you've got a pre-fused accessory and, of course, a, a spaded um, uh, ground wire. Uh, this module is communicating to the nav pro plus box via wireless bluetooth which i thought was pretty neat because obviously when you start to get um, too many connections uh, too many interfaces or modules things start to bundle up inside your center console or wherever your usb connector is and that can be you know relatively obtrusive so they did a really good job i think in making this a wireless module that you can locate up under the dash uh, out of the way you don't have to see it and there is no physical connection um, actually connecting this little box uh, to the Nav Pro Plus, uh, Plus box itself. On here, you see that there is a small gold connector uh, that obviously connects to this part of the GPS antenna. Now, I went ahead and already installed one in the vehicle just to give you an idea, um, but I wanted to show you the parts so you know what you're getting. Uh, the module was incredibly simple to install. It took a matter of minutes. Once the GPS antenna was connected, everything else was uh, relatively simple and quick, which is what I really liked about it. And since I'm only connecting to my uh, USB uh, smart connection, um, it was you know a matter of seconds and I was installed. 
Um, so obviously, as you can see on the vehicle's display here, um, there are already a few icons. The CarPlay icon has already been populated because I have already installed the module here, as you can see. We've got the USB cable connected to the box. The box light is on, um, showing that the module is making its communication. And we're going to go ahead and proceed to the uh, demonstration here. So I'm going to go ahead and push the CarPlay icon. It says open in CarPlay. Okay, the module wakes up and there is the module's display. Of course, there is a safety disclaimer um, stipulating that um, make sure you don't utilize this while driving. Now, obviously, that is at your discretion and the manufacturer has put this in here to give you um, the choice of what you want to do. Um, now, of course, so we're going to go ahead and push this to clear that out. As you can see, the user interface takes over the entire display, which I thought was really nice. The graphics look really good. Um, the touchscreen response on this is very, very smooth through my factory touch, which I really liked. And here you can see right away, I go Primo Next Gen. Now, this is a navigation software that is built into the module. My phone is not connected in any way, shape, or form, as you can see by the Wi-Fi with a line through it. We have no connection of my phone. So this is a totally self-reliant module that does not require a smartphone in order to give you navigation. We're going to go ahead and launch that there. I'm just going to push that icon. There you go. Everything is firing up now. <clears throat> and the mapping comes live. Now, if you look at the graphics interface on this, it is really nice. It's very clean. And even though I'm filming this remotely, um, you can still get a good idea of how crisp that picture is. The response with that as well. Uh, very simple, very smooth response. I like that. You have your various options that you normally would uh, through your navigation system. Let me go and go back in there. So you have your normal navigation responses uh, as you would, you know, route guidance, things of that nature, which I thought, of course, are, you know, incredibly intuitive. And I'm sitting here, you know, obviously playing with it. You have, you know, your various options over here. Uh, new route, waypoints, things of that nature. You pretty much have everything. Now you can refine this as well uh, by simply going into your settings function. You can change you know, certain operations of it. You can actually drag and move those primary icons out of the way, which I really liked. Um, things like changing the navigation protocol here. You can change navigation mode into split screen, into turn by turn mode, which I thought was actually really intuitive. The turn by turn mode is for someone that doesn't necessarily want to look at the screen, but get a much more simplistic uh, response to your navigation experience. So I'm going to push that just to show you one quick feature set of this. And as you can see right here, everything has gone completely dark with the exception of my speed. There's gonna be an optional compass that can pop up here as well to give you that general direction. And the purpose of this is again, simplicity. That's what they're trying to achieve. They wanna give you the option because there are those people that don't like uh, an active display or too much going on it. So I'm going back into the navigation mode to change it back to the standard default. There you go, just to give you that experience there and then as you can see let's go ahead and back out of that there you go there is the navigation screen back so we thought it was incredibly uh, um, simple to use, um, very fast to install. It really achieved what I think the manufacturer was trying to do, uh, which was creating an unrestricted uh, navigation system that did not rely on your smartphone. Um, in our next video, you'll be able to see the review of the further features that this module provides, which is an unrestricted um, app experience in your vehicle when you connect the module to Wi-Fi. So we're going to go ahead and move over to that. Thank you very much.